as a chess player and a lover sometimes my gut feeling for some moves is very important to me if i feel that i can go ahead with this plan of mine which i have thought i definitely want to try it even if that means sacrificing a few pieces now this game was completely based on that let's start and see this game which i played an hour back uh, against a decent traded player i started off with d4 open goes with knight to f6 uh I, just a second i'll unmute the tab because sound is not coming yeah uh, here i play bishop to g5 open goes with knight to e4 so i have to get my bishop backwards onto h4 saving it here comes g6 so opponent's idea is to fan get the bishop next uh, and then maybe castle on the king side uh, i went with e3 trying to make sure that my bishop's diagonal is free now open goes with bishop g7 i go with knight to d2 asking the opponent to what the opponent wants with this knight so opponent can trade or can play even d5 which works defending the knight but eventually the pawn structure will get spoiled after i take so opponent thought let the opponent only take it so he took on d2 which i take back with the queen now of course i will not take with the king i want to castle uh, either side of the board or maybe not at all eventually here open goes with d6 i go with knight f3 here comes knight to d7 so i just place my bishop on b5 for fun open plays c6 allowing me to go back now to d3 uh, so open is most likely to castle uh, on the king side my bishop is in the right diagonal my dark square bishop is for the time being uh, making sure that the e6 is not playable that smoothly open so goes with knight to f6 and i play c3 just solidifying my center further open goes for a5 and here i played a4 myself not allowing opponent to push pawn for, forward here here comes bishop to g4 trying to attack the knight here i took on opponent's knight first so that once opponent takes back with the bishop here i can just bring back my bishop on e2 making sure that if the trade now happens i'll take back with the bishop and my bishop will be hanging in the diagonal and my pawn structure will not be spoiled here so open castles here on the king side uh, and i play h3 asking open to either trade or go back with the bishop open decides with bishop to e6 here i played h4 now my idea is to place my knight on to g5 and create some pressure on the bishop and on the h7 pawn as well so open plays h5 allowing knight g5 and i'm okay if the open takes the bis uh, bishop for the knight because that's a dark square bishop it's an important piece it's an important defender of the king side also what that does is open up the edge file for the attack so i'm happy semi open file would be useful i can even play g4 later and open up the file so open goes with bishop to d uh, b3 trying to just uh, save the bishop from there and place it somewhere where open can use it high end went with bishop d1 asking open to trade off the bishops and here open takes which is decent as well because light square bishop is important for white pieces and we trade off i take with the queen now again this was important from which piece i want to take i can simply take with the rook as well but that uh, give me i i lose my castling rights on the queen side uh, which i maybe want to keep it open uh, also my queen is quite inactive thanks to their pawns and dark squares so i took with the queen so that now queen is active on the light squares and has some mobility open goes with queen b6 in the b2 pawn so i had to defend here comes queen to c2 defending the pawn and still keeping it active activity of a piece is very important you have to see where a pieces can reach out in any case open plays e5 trying to break open the center and now i i can simply take on the pawn which is the best move as well as for the computer i think uh let's just click on the analysis board for the time being and see if that's the right move uh yes computer suggesting to take on the pawn so that if open that takes then you don't have to open up the c file because e file e pawn will be pressurized later on once the rook comes in the center uh here i went with g4 instead asking open to take a free pawn open it obliged and takes the pawn and now i thought okay let me give the knight as well for free looks like insane move but my idea was different here i thought okay i'll push the pawn opponent takes the knight i can take the pawn 
and then if the opponent takes i take with the queen in the checkmate because king cannot escape anywhere thanks to queen and the rook is already controlling the open edge file that's why i risk that move yes opponent can save and that's what happened actually in the game opponent takes on the knight i take the pawn but now opponent didn't take and that's that can happen to anyone so opponent doesn't take here but takes the center pawn instead so this was another chance which opponent does take and here again i can take the uh, pawn and give a check which opponent can take with the king or the rook uh, and then maybe escape from there on so i thought okay since i have already sacrificed a piece let me continue with my attack i pushed my pawn forward to g7 now asking opponent to take or i am coming with the queen and the checkmate on h7 so opponent had to take and after the opponent takes i go with queen to f5 attacking the bishop attacking a pawn and still uh, trying to go to h7 eventually maybe with the rook first uh, so that then i can maybe uh, castle on the queen side and get my other rook into the activity as well opponent played queen here to d8 defending the bishop which allows me to give a check from h7 now rook goes to h7 and now king goes to g8 again now i have very limited options because i haven't castled yet and if i castle now it can be too too late uh, because opponent can simply get the queen here and then open can trade off the queens or release the pressure from here and if that happens i am not winning this game because i am a piece down already so i thought okay let me get my rook back to h5 attacking the bishop again now it's attacked twice and defended only once so if i take it and it's a check a i can simply take with the uh, i'll take with the rook and opponent has to take back otherwise again opponent is looking into a checkmate pattern very quickly from there uh, so that's a problem opponent has to deal with opponent goes with bishop to uh, h6 there which was weird i take here and now opponent just resigns in this position because uh, look like the checkmate is coming but of course opponent can side step with the rook but it's tough to spot such moves that as well given the time pressure because of the attack that you are doing now let's just assume opponent had uh, just moved the king here after i come back opponent tries to exchange the queens that's again a mate i can go for a checkmate as well so there is a lot of pressure which opponent has to deal with pawn forward also doesn't save anything because again i have queen at 7 so open had to do something to prevent queen from going to h7 that's what open does but the best move was very simple just side step with the rook lose the bishop and live to fight another day that's the best open could have done even then in in that case open has to move and then maybe i can also castle maybe i can just leave the things hanging and just castle on the queen side that's also an option i can take the pawn first either way it's okay i'll be in the game throughout from there on as well even if the opponent had found the best move from there so sometimes you play with your gut i played this game very much from the gut not the best of the moves always uh, but the idea was to just keep pressurizing the king in the corner with my pieces and whatever i can open up the files and gave away a lot of stuff here could have saved the night could have done various different things but this was one of the games i enjoyed as well eventually thanks to uh, the when your plan works out eventually when your gut feel works out it, it gives you a lot of happiness that's what i'm feeling right now i hope it i could convey it to you as well and you enjoyed this video please do let me know your feedback keep watching and sharing please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now and i shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always thanks for your time take care bye bye